actually said those words? That killing Jake liberated him? Mm-hmm. Yeah, don't get me wrong. Dad's sorry for hitting Jake on the road that night. I mean, it's something he's going to live with for the rest of his life. Then how is he liberated? Well, being beyond redemption, as he put it, allows him to turn his back on everything. Well, that's no way to live. No, but what does it matter? Because he's just claiming that it's who he's always been. The kid who grew up in a whorehouse and doesn't give a damn about anyone. Listen, I've tried really hard not to blame your father for anything that's happened. But I don't know if I can forgive him for doing this to you. It's just wrong and cruel. Well, I have to own up to the part that I've played in all this. What part? Why? pushed dad to admit that he's an alcoholic and that he needs to get treatment. It doesn't give him the right to give up on you or himself. No, it's easier than facing what he's done. See, that's what this, this all comes down to. I pushed dad too far and he's taking the easy way out. Lucky, this is not your fault. Nobody blames you. Well, maybe they should. What's the emergency? Lulu, I think she needs an emergency boyfriend transplant. Oh, come on, Maxie, give me a break. I did not just manufacture this trip to Paris out of thin air. I lied, schemed, and sweated to get it. It was for me and my boyfriend. And out of the kindness of my heart, I gave it to you so you can pull my crazy friend down off the ceiling and get her out of town. Have you managed to do that? It doesn't look like it. Look, I'd love to go to Paris, Maxie, but Lulu's a little distracted by what's going on with the family right now to even consider it. Okay, we'll try harder. These are desperate times. Lulu has already lost it, and if Lucky implodes, that's gonna send her right over the edge. Why, why would Lucky implode? For a cop, you have terrible powers of deduction. <laughs> okay. Thanks, Maxie. Why don't you enlighten me? Okay, well... Lucky went to see Luke in Florida. Luke basically ripped Lucky's heart out, put it in his hands, and sent him back home. Please, Lucky's not as fragile as everyone thinks he is. He's really upset, or else he wouldn't be talking like he's talking. Well, how is he talking? He's just running around making all this big noise about cutting ties and forgetting the past. I mean, does that sound healthy to you? It sounds like someone who's venting. Yes, someone, but not Lucky. I mean, he just lost his son, and now he's lost his father, not to mention he's a recovering addict. The sky is falling down, and Lucky is going to be the one to pull it on top of everyone. I owe Lucky. In more ways than one. I mean, he, he saved me from being deported. He didn't have to marry me. Now it's my turn to help him. Only if he wants to be helped. I guess he's like his father in that way. Stubborn. Well, you know, there's, there's, there's a battle in Luke. I mean, the dark side of him that rears up against the side of him that's inherently good. Well, I'm supposing that Lucky got the good part. Well, I, I struggle with my own darkness myself. But being a father has honestly really changed me. What? I'm sorry, did you lose something? Uh, I'm sorry, there, there was a lighter here. I, I must have put it away and I, I don't remember. You were saying? Yeah, uh, I was just saying that Luke tends to drift to, off into the dark side and then he'll disappear for a few months but I honestly never thought I'd see the day that he'd turn his back on Lucky for good. You don't know that he has and Lucky doesn't know that either. A child isn't something to be taken or passed over lightly. Neither is a child's death. Okay, uh, I'm sorry. I, I have a meeting to get to. We just tell Lucky that I stopped by, and if either of you need anything, or you just want to talk, whatever, you please call me. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay, I'll see you. I'll see you.
talk to Siobhan? She was with Lucky in Florida. How did she say he was there? I'm pretty sure Siobhan is only thinking about what's best for Siobhan. What's that supposed to mean? That means Lucky has a tendency of ending up with extremely selfish women, myself included. Siobhan sees that Lucky's headed down a bad road. Well, it's not too late for Lucky to head down the right road. Okay, what is up with this world's most positive policeman thing? I guess my faith in Lucky's character. Yes, Lucky's faith is everything to him, and that's been shattered. That's kind of what happens when your parents pull the rug out from under you. I'm sure you have some idea what that's like. Yeah, I guess I do. Look, I know your parents threw you a curveball, but they didn't exactly say nice knowing you and turn and walk away. Are we talking about you now? I mean, Lulu's told me a little bit about your mom and dad, but I... The only thing you need to know about my parents is they left me behind, like, inconvenient baggage. And yes, acting out buries that. But that's all it does, bury it. And then you have to find something else to do to keep that pain down. In this case, I think that could be Lucky's addiction. Lucky's told me he worked very hard to get past that, and he went through a lot of great lengths to try and help Luke. Yeah, but where did Lucky's 12 steps get Luke? Lucky is discouraged, disillusioned, and angry. I'm worried he's going to think his father's right, that nothing matters anymore, and it's time to blow his life apart. He's too rational to pull his stomach. Like yes, Lucky is rational and caring and loving. And his life is still going down the toilet. I think it could get worse. I hate to say it, but I think you actually might be right. Someone sees you, okay? Let's go. Let's go. No, I want to see Let's it. Let's go. Get in the car, Lucky. Dude, don't do this. Come no, on. You don't do this. Get in the car, Lucky. <laughs> Lucky! Get in the car. I'll throw you in the trunk. She's trying to save a friend, so why don't you just keep your mouth shut for a minute? Yeah, I'd like to report a house fire. 24 Royal Street. No. I don't think anyone's lived there for quite some time. Send someone as soon as possible, please. Detective Falconary, PCPD, thank you. You sure no one saw you? No. And no one knows you were coming here? Nope. Okay, where the hell are you going? What was the fireworks? What are you okay? talking about? What are you talking about fireworks? Like, you just set a house on fire. Okay, the, the law tends to frown on arson, especially when it's committed by a cop. Give me that speech. It's an abandoned house. Who cares? You don't care about losing your badge, apparently. Something my dad would appreciate. I mean, not as much as watching the place burn. Did you hear that? 